Industry Insider coming to you from Australasian Worldwide Music Expo 2012, brought to you by Jay Dillon. And uh, joining me, uh, Millie Milgate, Lisa Widock. How are you, ladies? Good. Very Thank well. You. Thanks, yeah. Ben. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the, the, uh, the party's about to start here. The party is about to start, yep. yes. Um, great uh, Scottish music, great whiskey, great <laughs> iron brew. Um, no, it's, it is. It's about to start, and we're really excited because... This, this is the start of a three-year initiative, which Millie and myself have been working on um, for two years um, to, to make sure that there's a solid exchange between Australian artists and Scottish artists in Europe and in Australasia. So, so it's great. How did, the, um, so how did you strike up the partnership between, obviously, Sounds Australia and Showcase Scotland? How did, how, how did that come to be? Well, we, I was attending Warmi in 2010, yep. and Rhoda Roberts made an introduction between Lisa and I, and basically just said, you guys have to meet and you have to talk. Yep. And Lisa described what her festival was about, how Showcase Scotland operated, and how it worked within the construct of Celtic Connections. Mm -hmm. And it just, in so many ways, I, I mean, I get pitched opportunities all the time time from all over the world and there was something that just really resonated with the um, I guess thoughtfulness and consideration that actual program had been given so I was instantly intrigued I went along the following year to check it out for myself and it above and beyond met all my expectations and I could really see that there would be incredible opportunities and outcomes for Australian artists if they would have been involved and so yeah so we pretty much yeah. I guess spent the last yeah. couple of years really nutting out what it might look like how it could work the time frames could we even afford to do it I mean we're definitely across a lot of the bigger events yeah. when you, you, you're dealing with numbers of 45 Australian acts at South by, 32 at CMJ, etc., etc. So when you look at an event like this, it's much more boutique. Um, only a few artists are going to be involved, but the actual return, I think, on that investment is going to be substantial. So I think yeah. the, the, it's important to say that um, it's an invitation-only event, so we target um, the industry that are attending. There's always a waiting list of festivals and presenters who want to come um, and uh, it generates fees in the region of 2.2 million pounds a year for the artists who are showcasing. So, so it's I figure substantial. if the Aussies can get a little bit of that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. then oh. we're doing our job. You can't sell my jaw, sure, drop a little bit down in it. And then I, I went, hang on, that's pounds as yeah, well. Yeah, that's pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's pounds. And it's also, you know, certainly whilst those artists selected are going to, you know, certainly be the beneficiaries, with all of these events, it's about the Australian delegates and industry yeah. getting behind it. And they too can come along and be part of that year's engagement, really take that opportunity to meet with all the buyers. And, you know, we've all seen stories of it's the artists that aren't showcasing that are getting deals done. You know, you can set up some great live footage, you can make connections, you can sell your band, whether they're there or not. And yeah. I think that, to me, is the real value. And that's that's what we're trying to, you know, really, really set up and make a, an ongoing concern. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Now, what, what, are we, what are we expecting today? For, the, for those of the uh, unlucky <laughs> enough not to attend, uh, it sounds like it's going to be amazing. Well, oh, oh, you had me at whiskey, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but have you tried on? <laughs> Brun. This is the best recovery <laughs> hangover <laughs> beverage in the world. I swear, um, you'd come we for that also, alone. Yeah, I mean, we also have the band that, that are performing, or a band called Brebach, who've already performed in Australia, actually. They've played at the Port Ferry yep. Folk Festival, and they've played at the at Celtic Festival just outside Melbourne. Um, they were nominated as the best group in the BBC Radio 2 Um Book Awards and they're young um, it's not a bad and you will, you will never hear the Highland bagpipes right, played um, played in quite such a contemporary way yeah that's awesome yeah, yeah. and I guess really we just wanted to take this opportunity to announce to the industry that the partnership had been consolidated let people know that it was happening and you know yeah. start to give us expressions of interest as whether they'd be interested and it made sense it's an outcome of Ormi we met at Ormi and it's great yeah. to be able to just announce and it here yeah. Well, great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, people are rolling in and uh, everyone's getting ready outside and the yeah. weather's fantastic. Uh, yeah. We haven't had the best luck with weather the last few years yeah. here, so you've you've absolutely <laughs> right. picked a perfect day. Excellent. I'm uh, I'm going to come and uh, have a look at these uh, these bagpipes that you speak <laughs> of and, um, and you might have to uh, direct me to a whiskey over there. Shall yeah. we go over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go and get some. Whiskey. All right, let's do that. <laughs> Lisa Woodock, Millie Milgate uh, from Sounds Australia and uh, and... and 
uh, showcase, showcase Scotland. Showcase Scotland. <laughs> uh, joining me here at uh, All Me 2012. Thank you so much, ladies. And um, we'll you. put the we'll put the uh, websites up there as well. If you want to okay. go check out the awesome. projects and, yeah. and and have a look at what's going on, make sure you start supporting this new consolidated partnership. Thank Thanks you. very much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you.